Hey guys, welcome to this week's video from Propulsion Swimming. This week we're going to be doing something slightly different. I'm going to be reacting to some swimming drills. So Scott has found some drills for us to watch. I've never seen them before. So what we're going to do, we're going to watch them together, we're going to critique them and we're going to break them down. So I've been told I've got to wear headphones so it's easier for Scott to edit. I've got no idea about the whole thing quite frankly. I mean I just, I just sit here and speak to you guys. We're going to watch some drills. Let's take a look then. Oh, it's James Goodson drills. Oh, we're in for a treat then. These should be pretty good. All right, let's take a look at the first one. It looks like Ben Proud. Is that Ben Proud? It looks like it's Ben Proud. The old straight arm freestyle. I mean, you can't go wrong with it, especially if it's someone like Ben Proud. The classic straight arm. I mean, you see it a lot with 50 meter sprinters at the moment. It's the more powerful stroke. So it's not just the overarm recovery that's straight. It's actually the majority of the underwater pull as well. It's just, it's a lot more power, basically. And, and as you know, Ben Proud is just a purely 50 meter sprinter, a bit like Florent Manadou. He's able to go to 100, but it's just all power. And he's obviously wearing fins and paddles to add, add that extra pressure on the water. Um, can't fault it, it's a fantastic drill to do. Um, and I highly recommend it if you're a 50 meter sprinter or even a 100 meter sprinter as well. Yeah, great start, great start. Clip number two. Oh, we've got a bungee cord in, in play. Sarah Sostrom, it looks like. Oh, so she's come off the bungee cord after. Okay, I see. Okay, so she's doing a couple of skulls to begin with, trying to get the feel of the water going. And then it goes into full stroke, and then comes off the bungee cord. Yes, yeah, so it's almost like a progression, actually. And this is what drills are all about. It's all about progression. But that was pretty good, actually. I like that. Sarah Strothman is one of the best butterflies in the world. Um, bungee cords are always brilliant. It, again, it's a bit like paddles and fins. It's gaining a little bit of resistance. Um, or parachutes, you might have swam in parachutes, some of you listening. A great drill, absolutely fantastic drill. Again, he's got a very sprint based program out there. So it's all about developing the power. Um, and as you can see, heads down, bodies in line, exactly what you need to do. Next one. Oh, it looks like the same day with Taylor Strootman again. Oh, it's almost like an extra, so we've done Swordfish on our uh, channel before. It's almost like an elite version of Swordfish actually. But that, actually, that's a really nice drill. And again, it's got the extra pressure in the water of the medicine ball for developing the first part of their catch. So she doesn't actually have a bent arm there at the moment. But at the same time, that's the way it should be because if she had started the catch already, she'd actually be flat on her front. So the timing is actually correct. I mean, the arm over the water, that's where it would be. You only really start to begin the catch when the hand has gone past the head, if that makes sense. And if you look on the video, the hand is literally level with the head. So as soon as her hand, her overarm recovery hand goes past her head, then she'd be beginning the, she'd begin the catch. So timing wise, it's absolutely perfect. She's got her fins on as well. So it's absolutely perfect for me. And it's just a, basically we've done swordfish before, and it's just another version of it that's slightly more advanced, I suppose. Um, I'd like to do this actually. We should definitely do this on our channel. I really like that one. Next one. Oh. Oh, turn practice. Got some big guys here flying. So here we go. Yeah. So what they've done, they've gone a, f they've started at the five meter flags, from a standing start basically or a static start. They've then had to generate the power and the speed and the momentum from nothing effectively, to then building up that speed for only five meters, then power off the wall after. Really good. Again, a really explosive drill that if you are a 50 meter sprinter, like some of these guys would be, fantastic drill to do. It's not even really a drill, it's kind of like a session. I suspect that's more of a session actually that they built into the, the swimming session. That's a, no, I really like that one actually. Another good one, James Gibson. I can't fault any of these so far. Ooh, it's almost like a, a 636 that we've also done on the, the channel. Looks like it's more of a focus on the catch as well. Yeah. So it looks like she's concentrating on the high elbow and the high wrist catch on the underwater pull phase. Really good. Again, using the fins. I can't stress enough how important fins are in drills. I'd like to see her use a snorkel so then she doesn't have to worry about the breathing. The, if I'm going to pick a little fault in there, I'd like to see her rotate more. So when she's kicking with her arm extended, she should be on her side. So if you're swimming front crawl, rotate onto your side more so your arm's extended. And then when you're ready to do the strokes, then 
bring the hips and the shoulder rotation in. That would be my only critique there. So that's heel step, so that's a sprinter's technique. So it's trying to keep as flat as possible. Oh really? So it's a sprinter's freestyle. Okay, oh, well you're more of a sprinter than me, obviously. So, yeah, you're kind of right actually, you're kind of right. So you do want a flat, flatter body position when you swim front crawl, because you're able to get the arms over quicker. So I completely understand what you're saying actually, and that completely makes sense. And you told me that it was Heemskuk, would you say? Yeah, I mean, she's one of the best 100 meter freestylers in the, in, the country, in the world right now, actually. So, yeah, I mean, Scott's more of an expert than me on sprinting. But, um, no, I can completely see what she's doing there. Alright, next one. Oh, yeah. Absolutely agree with this. Always been a big fan of vertical kick. Always. Oh, it's a pull-out practice as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, I'm always a big fan of vertical kick. Yeah, any practice to pull out. So this is this is a perfect drill again for the power based uh, side of swimming. So it's very difficult. We've done a vertical kick uh, video, haven't we, on our YouTube channel? Really, really tough. So especially to stay in streamline and near enough keep his chest out of the water. Very, very tough. He's got to be very strong to do that. And then once he does, I think it was about five kicks, something like that. He then goes under the water, pushes off the wall. Uh, pushes off the floor, sorry, and as soon as he pushes off the floor, he then engages his arms to do a breaststroke pull out. Fantastic drill, big fan of that one as well. How many more have we got here? We've got a couple more. Looks like Sostrom swimming here. Oh, that's almost like a finger drag, or well, it is a finger drag actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's a big concentration on the high elbow recovery phase. Again, using fins, can't fault that. Yeah, so this is very similar to full stroke freestyle, really. The only only emphasis, really, is to have a very relaxed, el uh, well, a relaxed arm over the top of the water, especially for a swimmer like Sarah Sostrom, or any sprinter, really. You don't want to use any excess energy for absolutely no reason. So the arm coming over the water isn't going to get you any further when you race. It's not going to it's not going to bring you any propulsion or anything like that so the idea is to get your arm over the top of the water as relaxed as possible to save yourself as much energy as possible ready for when it enters so you can do the maximum power under the water great job i mean it's a pretty basic one to be honest with you i mean a lot of swimmers would probably do that in the club swimming side so that's a that's a good one what have we got here oh it's like synchro sprinting I'm proud of Manadu maybe by the fins. Again, fins, big fan of fins. And they've got snorkels, big fan of snorkels. Definitely use that equipment all the time. Now this kind of relates to, yeah, it kind of relates to the Heemskirk drill that you showed earlier, Scott, where it's more flat based. And of course, because the guys are so much stronger, they're able to do the straight arm uh, under the water and over the water. And it kind of, they do sort of two, two strokes on the left arm and two strokes on the right arm. So I think there's a bit of coordination that goes on here. See, my critique would be would be that as your hand enters, let's say your right arm is in front of you, as your left hand enters, your right arm wouldn't be extended in front of you. That would be my critique, but at the same time, I can't fault it. It looks, it looks amazing, doesn't it? I could watch this all day long. This is actually, a, I really like it. That would be my only critique. I don't like the idea of swimming flat, but at the same time, 50 meter swimmers have to do that to get their arms over quicker. Um, yeah, very, quite an interesting one actually. Oh, it's the last one. Oh. Oh, so we've got backstroke start progressions. I like this. Oh, we've got a backflip then. Hey, a backflip on the block. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, wow. Who is this? This is strong. Who is it? Is this Georgia Davis? Georgia Davis. Yeah, she is a very explosive swimmer. Very explosive swimmer. I really like this, actually. Especially at the end result. When you see the end result and it's like a perfect backstroke start, it looks really good. But you can, you can see every progression is absolutely perfect. So she starts off basically trying to get her hips and her bum out of the water and so it doesn't really worry about anything else. Then it's all about trying to get the the arms over her head with the back flip. So she tries to push off the wall with, with extreme power to push her head back and then bring her hips and legs over the top. So it's almost like exaggerating that, uh, that backstroke starts. Then she has a little go on the block and does her back flip off the box, same sort of thing. 
and then puts it all together to do a backstroke start where she's arching her back and you can see basically I was always taught that you have to have clear water underneath your back so you're almost like a perfect arch and Georgia's, I mean she's very good at what she does. Um, again, most of these drills actually are all power based and that's what James Gibson done, does. I mean he's one of the best coaches in the world if not maybe the best. I mean, yeah, I can't fault any of these drills apart from I don't like the idea of being flat, but I'm more of a 200 400 swimmer. But I can understand why the body position is flat for these sprinters. There's some really good ones, there, actually. Yeah, nice ones. So, those were some really interesting drills done by James Gibson there. Scott's done a really good job of finding those. And actually, if I was a sprinter, a 50 meter swimmer, or 100 meter swimmer, I would seriously recommend some of those drills. So, I've really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have as well. If you have, Please leave a comment down below of any drills you'd like to see us include in any future reaction drill videos. I've been Dan, please subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel for great swimming content coming your way soon. I'll catch you on the next one guys.